The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. In this section, we're going to be factoring trinomials. Based on what you've learned so far about factoring, the first thing you're going to probably try to do here is factor out a greatest common factor. The problem is, there is no factor that is in common to these three terms. So you might think that this problem is unfactorable. However, the trinomial that you see is in a special form that can be factored in a new way. The first term has an x squared. The second term has an x, and the third term is a constant term. When a trinomial is in this form, it can be factored as the product of two binomials. In other words, we're going to set up two sets of parentheses. And within each set of parentheses will be the two terms that compose each binomial. So what goes inside these parentheses? Well, the first term in each binomial will be a factor of the x squared. Since x squared factors is x times x, we use x as the first term in each binomial. The second term in each binomial will be a factor of your constant term, or your 10. The problem is 10 factors in different ways. 10 can be thought of as 10 times 1, or it can also be thought of as 5 times 2. So how do we know whether to use a 10 and a 1 or a 5 and a 2? Well, take a look at your middle term in your original polynomial. The rule is the factors of the last term that you will use have to add to the middle term in the original trinomial. So which pair of factors adds to 7? Well, 5 and 2. So we're going to put a 5 in our first binomial and a 2 in our second. And there's your answer, which is a factored version of x squared plus 7x plus 10. 